Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising weekly tarot reading for September 17 to September 23rd, 2018, Tarot and Lenormand, excuse me. So while I'm shuffling the cards, want to remind you guys that this is a, a general reading for the star sign, it is not your personal reading and uh, if you are interested in a personal reading, you can check out my website, which uh, there is a link for it down below in the description of this video. And there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And at this, uh, the end of the summer, there is a uh, summer end sale going on, which adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minute sale. So the 30 minutes automatically become 40. So that being said, going to the tarot reading first now, let me cut the cards and uh, the first position will um, regard to the uh, topic for your week, Geminis. The second position is about the core of the situation. The third position is um, about the challenges that you have to overcome and the last position regards to the guidance from tarot for the week. So uh, let's see what you got here. Now the first card, that will be the Hierophant, which is the topic of the week. And that week should go extremely normal. Because the Hierophant, it is a, about the natural things uh, or the natural flow of events. It's about, um, <clears throat> it's about doing the things how they are supposed to be done regarding relationships or regarding career so if it is about your career um, depending on what stage of uh, of your current career is will define how the hierophant is going to manifest but let's say that you are um, that you are sitting on a verge of a, uh, initiating a project and what will be the natural stage here is to thoroughly research before you actually initiate or thoroughly um, gather up uh, the means necessary for you for the initiation etc etc so this particular week you have to Gemini attend to the things the way they are supposed to the way the way they are written by the books all right or if it is about <clears throat> relationships and you are single then you need to know that this week the relationship can happen only through dating the way it is supposed to happen you know uh, as well communications like phone calls chat messages etc etc so what the point here is is that you will not be able to push things fast but rather you have to work over them uh, regarding the um the natural way they already established conventional way of how the things are done and the more deep and profound meaning of the hierophant card is that this week will be a week of a, a serious deliberations regarding um, many things in your life really i mean <clears throat> especially those things which are which you are um which you are attending for the long term, uh, for the for the long term uh, prosperity and for the distant future as well. Because the Hierophant card, it is something long lasting. And if uh, these things are regarding your career, then you should focus more upon how you're gonna get there rather than what what the benefits will be for you. And if this card regards to a, a long term relationship, then that relationship needs to be found on um, mutual trust rather than the mutual love all right so the love is good thing all right but if if the both partners are not trusting in one another then they cannot be together despite that they are loving each other so the love goes um so that the trust goes first and then comes the love and the core of the situation or why the hierophant happening now that will be the seven of swords which we are going to give us a little bit more clue what the Hierophant is going to uh, refer and that we, because we do have the Seven of Swords this is going to be something very personal. That card points that recently you Gemini realized that you have to make some changes in your life and uh, these changes include some detachments, detachments from people or detachments from activity because you have 
most likely realized that this isn't the way how you're going to reach a certain prosperity or a comfortability for your personal behalf but what you're working for is the comfortability of someone else or of a, a group of people or of a situation um, in general therefore the core of the situation here points that you have to start thinking first and foremost for yourself and for your family before you start thinking about your job about your friends you know and etc etc so it's it's about personal comfort zone that you have to establish this week the way you know that personal comfort zone uh, are, is supposed to be established uh, established based on the already existing convictions made by the people that have been there before you so you don't have to kind of discover the hot water you don't have to you know <clears throat> discover the rocket science only thing that you have to do is you know do the things that they are supposed to be done rather than try to do um i don't know uh, some brilliant maneuvers here and again remember that um <clears throat> if you face certain predicaments especially with uh reaching a agreement with other people you know reaching a common ground that particular common ground can be reached by you uh initiating a uh, profound conversations uh, and deliberations with these people and uh, kind of like theoretically explain your per your personal standpoints and these people will then understand you so be a little bit more elaborative when it comes to a uh, conversations and then uh, the uh, challenges that you are going to face here this is going to be the tree of wands which itself speaks for challenges so that card here points that the result of uh, of your work will be rather a little bit delayed or uh, there is a, a couple of ways that this card could manifest this is one of the way as it sits on a challenging position your work uh, the the results of uh, of your labor could be a little bit delayed you know and you may not receive the rewards you are expecting this particular week and that is probably because it is the way how it is supposed to happen remember because we do have the hierophant you are going to everything that happens to you, you know, this week it is because it was supposed to happen and uh, the other way of manifesting of manifestation this card is that uh, a little bit more rough uh, and it, the card says that you are not as far as you think you are all right and there is uh, I, and you have to kind of incorporate uh, more uh, more ha harder work that you are incorporating right now so if you think that you are working hard to get what you want because this week is about you getting what you want here with the seven of swords all right uh, then um, you're not uh, working as hard as you can and you have to work harder than you are working right now this is what the uh, tree of wands represents uh, in this particular case and uh, i do believe that the challenge will be for you to realize that because everybody thinks that they are working as hard as they can you know but unfortunately not everybody gets what they deserve well you will kind of like uh, get the things that you are supposed to get but only if you work as hard as you can so if you don't get uh, if you're not getting them this week it is because you know or you are not getting closer to them this week it is because you're not working as hard as you are supposed to work for them and then the last card it is about the uh, guidance here that will be the two of cups and this card points that uh, when it comes to uh, activities undertakings and enterprises here the two of cups advises you to try to um, build up a team all right so work with someone else try to be um, I, I forgot the English word here about that particular event but it is more like don't try to be singular when it comes to a, a mutual experience involve yourself more into a teamwork and as well try to share that is very important because the two of cups when it comes to guidance it's all about sharing share your emotions with people in your relationship into your career if you don't like something just say that you don't like that like that it is because things are supposed to go the natural way and if you 
are doing something that you don't like or you're keeping a silent treatment about it obviously you go against yourself and that is not the natural way you are supposed to do things and when you are when you come into your when it comes to your relationship you know if you don't like a certain um behavior of your partner for example it will be beneficial for you to speak about it because otherwise you know your partner will not know that you don't like that particular uh, behavior and they will continue on exerting it and you will get even more frustrated and this is not the natural way the way that it is supposed to one relationship to proceed further so yeah it is very important for you to share because shared happiness is double happiness and shared pain is half the pain and also what that part, part, card excuse me um, preaches is that uh, shyness it, it only depraves you from getting results because if you don't ask the answer always will be no alright so if you do have a person of interest you date you kinda chat you know you communicate and at the end of course you if they don't approach you you have to be the one who approaches because if you don't ask the answer always will be no so now <clears throat> let me shuffle the uh, Lenormand cards and let's see what kind of event you should either look forward to or try to avoid because because the, the Lenormand cards uh, are foretelling events which are about to happen so let's see We do have the birds, which is about chat, about phone calls, and it is about gossips as well. Then the next card, it is uh, the anchor, which preaches longevity, hope, long lasting. And then uh, we do have the stork, which is about delivery, and it is about new beginnings. So it's about conversations, chattering, or negotiations for a, a long lasting new beginning so it's it could be about a, a new relationship um, and you know negotiating with the suitor how how look how much longevity that relationship could have should you involve yourself into it you know or it could be about a, a project deliberation or over a, a project you know how much benefits and how um, stable that project is going to be how much longevity that project will give you into the place you are into your um, into your career etc etc what the point here is is that this is going to be a negotiation a chatter or phone call conversations you know uh, regarding a field of your life Gemini that will create a uh, long-term stability which is going to be delivered so that being said this was your weekly tarot reading for September 17 to September 23rd 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and I hope that you can make sense of it because remember this is a, a general reading for the star sign of Gemini it is not your personal reading and for a personal reading uh, you can check out my website which link is uh, written down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as the pricings for them. So that being said, Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.